have to say that what I've been proudest to have done and achieve is build this, our very first Formula One simulator. And a lot of people thought it was never going to work, which is, which is a fantastic challenge yes. when <laughs> people tell you this, right? Especially the, the head of the company. Well, the best way to do that is involve a lot of women in, in the design and in the production of those products. It, it's as simple as that, right? We, we have that here in Babylon. That's what I like. All the teams are well represented in, in, in men and women and of all sorts of different nationalities and backgrounds so that it represents the people who will use the app. But I would go a little bit further because, of course, I work in AI, that the data that feeds this is often the issue that we have because the data, if it's been taken mainly on white male of a certain age, then... Which it has, which by it ha and large, for, for decades. Exactly. Yes. Then. Then from, from the perspective of trying to do AI in health, we have to spend a lot of time trying to take mm -hmm. this and, and, and account for the fact yeah. that the data is biased. Now we can de-bias it over time and we can collect new data and, and it will take us years. We'll be able to start you know, correcting for all of these things, but it, it, that correction is not done immediately. It's fun. Engineering. What would you say? <laughs> enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. You know. And it's not all about math. I like math. Not everyone likes math. But we know we need people who can think and outside the box. The good news these days is people will also change careers. So the fact that you've taken one degree is not something for life, right? And we have quite a few people in Babylon yeah. which very interesting careers, right? Yes. They've started in one thing, might have studied, you know, history and then this discovered that actually they like coding yeah. and they start, they pick it, pick it up. And to me, this is fa fabulous because it shows that um, we're more, we're getting more flexible and it's okay not to make your decision at the age of 18. You might make your decision at the age of 25 or 30. I found that for women, having children is a big turning point. We've both got, we've both got children and I very much found that as soon as I had children, I reassessed, I reviewed what I was doing, my working hours. Do I really want to be doing this with my life now? Because everything that I do has to really count and feel really worthwhile because I'm not spending time with them when I'm doing that thing. My kids are teenagers now, you know, it's uncool to be seen with your mom yeah. now, you know, it's, that's okay. That means I, you know, I can spend more time at work if I want to, but, yeah. but for a while, I, like you, I wanted to, it, you know, I worked part-time in order to see my kids. I, I wanted to have time with them and it, mean, it meant something very much to me, but also I wouldn't have been as good a mom if I didn't work. You get to work with something that changes all the time. There's a race all the time. Every other week, um, my first season I traveled, we won. <laughs> Championship even better. <laughs> so it's a, it, was, it was really good fun. There was a lot of pressure, but I have to say that I always felt that I had to do the job really, really, really well mm. to be accepted. I was put more to the test mm. than, than a man. It, it probably just is this unconscious bias that we all have. But you see someone, you're used to how someone looks when they do a certain job and you don't quite fit that. You feel you have to prove yourself. Yes. And, and I did feel that. I, I can't wait to really do more with a digital twin because the idea of simulating more where the body is, and I, I think this is such an interesting idea where essentially you, you picture yourself in a few years' mm -hmm. time, and what if I do this instead of that? And it, you're starting playing with your kind of avatar self. That's 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 oh, yes. next big challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh, thank you, Caroline. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure, Claudia. Thank you.